Hi everyone, welcome to the same paper new project or new project same paper collab with Paige. Uh, the other day I showed you the paper pad that I will be using which is this. So I've only had really a day to play with this. Um, haven't gotten a lot done with it yet but I did pull out four sheets of paper um, plus I did one of the cut aparts which I really haven't used yet but I did cut them up and I did use some of these um, one whole sheet of these uh, cut aparts I cut up and then I have used some of them so I have a lot to go plus there's a whole nother sheet of those yikes um, so the sheets I chose to cut were this pattern focus why isn't it focusing there we go and now these are all cut to card mat size which I'll be doing I haven't gotten to them yet this one and this one so those are the four papers uh, there's two of each paper in the pad and I only pulled out one of these sheets each so I will be making cards with those and but let me show you what I've done so far I decided I had it in my head to do and I'm gonna do more of these but I have done a set of 12 um, place cards so here's the first one they're just basically um, four inch by three and a half inch and folded in half scored and folded and then I've used some various washi tapes and I'm just gonna say most of the washies I've used either came from Target or Simple Stories I think for this time around some of the washies are not on their cards and um, but I'm pretty sure uh, well and I'm already telling you an untruth because this one that's on here this plaid is Echo Park and that one is on its roll thing um, but there's some other ones that are glitter that were from Target and then some other ones still that are, I think are decorative but are from Target. So, um, hang on. What I used um, on a lot of these is my Stampin' Up! I used my Stampin' Up! Starburst Punch. I used my Stampin' Up! 1 and 3 8 inch um, Scallop Circle Punch. I used Stampin' Up! Very Vanilla. Uh, to do the scallops on all of them. The leaves, I use these dies here, which are actually from Diamond Dies. It's a maple and an oak leaf, and they're still hooked together. And I just, I cut them out in a bunch of scrap papers that I had from Stampin' Up! Out of, I think it was Cherry Cobbler, um, Pretty Peacock, I did some in Flirty Flamingo, Crushed Curry, and I'm going to say Mossy Meadow and Pumpkin Pie. Just scraps out of my scrap bin. Here's one of the flags. So what I did is I put down Washi. Then I put uh, these two circles together and I just glued them on halfway. And I did not do anything with the back at this point. Um, because I thought later, if I'm done using them as a um, place card, um, I could actually cover that up with something, a flower or a leaf or whatever, and use it as an embellishment on a card. So that is my thinking. Um, and they're white in, they're light white inside, so really you could use it as a little um, flip on a on a card or in a journal or something, and a secret writing spot. I don't know. Maybe not because of, the, of having the circle in there, but that could be folded over. I don't know. I was kind of thinking along those lines, like how could I use it as a table place card and then use it again later. These are in a little jar, which I put away already. Also, I think from Target. And what I did on the leaves, I cut them out in all the various colors. And then I took... Um, combination depending on the color of fossilized amber or vintage photo but mostly I used peeled paint because you know how when the leaves change color they um, they still have some green to them and they have a little yellow well I was trying to go for that effect now the pretty peacock color here I don't think I um, changed most of them at all 
but the cherry cobbler was just a real deep red and I think I went over that mostly with the um, fossilized amber um, I actually think I only used the distress oxide on it uh, the vintage photo on a couple and most all the other ones I used peeled paint and you'll see that as we go through so that's the first first one and what I did is really I used um, three sets of four okay so this is the next one and each one has a different like this is one of the papers this is one of the papers so they each set has one of the bases and one of the um, top now this was the first one I did actually and I had put the circle up higher thinking the name of the person would be up higher but I don't like it as well I like it better with them down a little lower so this one, I tried to pick out some of the sayings that would be more what you'd have on a Thanksgiving family dinner table kind of thing. So our tradition, blessings, and this is the copper uh, color tape, or rose gold or something. It was from this do um, Target. It was this glitter washi tape, and this does not stick well, so you do have to use a little glue with it. And even still, it's bubbling here. So you can see this uh, yellow leaf. This was crushed curry, but I edged it in a little green. And same with the orange, which was pumpkin pie. This is a piece of the linen thread by Stampin' Up! Or twine, I'm not sure which. I think it looks more like twine to me, but I have um, a, pa a pack of that all together. And this is just one of the cut aparts. So the leaves are tucked behind. Anyway, that's that one. And then this one says thankful. This has a different um, washi, which I am pretty sure this is scotch. So I got that at Target as well. Really pretty. And this is all not current year stuff. I haven't been to Target. And I have decided, guys, that I am going to try and get through this season pretty much without shopping for new things. So here's Pretty Peacock again. The orange with some of the um, green on it, actually. Uh, the washi and the twine and this was one of the cut parts that says thankful and then this one is another one that says blessed and this is the gold background with the brown dots and um says blessed and orange and green i mean almost orange and yellow leaves with a little bit of green on them and that's about it and the washi again so that's the first set of four and I thought I might try and sell these at a craft fair as a set. I don't know. This one says good food. I have one craft fair this year in November so and it's before Thanksgiving so we shall see. So orange and cherry cobbler again with the gold on the um, sort of brownish dots and the piece of that same washi. And then this one says leaves. This has a, um, some bluish washi. That might have been a simple stories one. Not sure. And oh, and these are all bumped up on dimensionals. Um, nothing else is but the um, cut apart is. And some of them have gold foiling like this one and this one. And some do not. Um, and then this one is the gold sort of flourishy background with the... This is almost like a pink flamingo, which I'll show you in a minute. Color. Here's the whiter with the acorns and leaves in it. Whiter uh, washy. Cherish the moment and an orange and a green leaf. And the green is distressed in the amber. Um, What's it called? Fossilized Amber. So they're all very similar. And this one, I, I wanted the Pretty Peacock because this paper has in some pieces this, it almost an exact Pretty Peacock color on some of the leaves. So I did that. And this one says, Give Thanks, appropriate for a table. Now that one isn't really distressed at all. The green is a little bit on uh, with the, the yellow, the fossilized amber so that's set to a uh, three two excuse me and here's the last set um we have fall delight which is very shiny 
and it's got the pinkish lettering and you'll see this leaf I cut out of pink flamingo and then I edged it with the green and then the green has a little bit of the yellow here's the white uh, washi with acorns and flowers on it and I think that's about it on that one and then this one has sort of the coppery glitter ribbon I put the leaves I split them apart this time and put the little bow in the middle so this is the brown with the pink uh, leaf paper and again this is cherry cobbler I think or Mary Merlot I'm not sure and mossy meadow because it was a scrap and then this one says grateful with the pretty peacock and the orange and this has a little this also has um, foiling and then the last one is family and so I tried to make it that each set had one of each background with a different top so all the tops would be for example different and all the bases would be different and that's true in each one of the sets so three sets of four I'm keeping them in this little plastic container here for now because I had hoped to do another style and I just didn't get to it yet and then I had like half sheet three maybe two-thirds of sheets left of the paper so I cut them into those card bases but I had four card bases that ended up being four inches high by five and a quarter inches wide so the um, landscape size and this is the first one I did I did bring in some Stampin' Up crushed curry this is the piece of the paper out of the pack and this ribbon here is um, from Dollar Tree three yards of this floral satin ribbon and it's got a nice sparkle to it really nice ribbon actually for a dollar um, and I wrapped that around the mat first and then these I ended up with some of these uh, size strips what I did is I cut the sheets and I tried to get two each of these card bases and one each of these and then I had also um, at least one each except in this paper I got two of the three and a quarter by four which I'll be using in a future month projects and um, then I had a bunch of these one and a half by two and three quarter that's what's backing this here and then this is another one of the cut aparts um, so I layered them up I put some leaves between because I had a couple leaves left between um, this layer and this layer and it just says friends and then on the inside I did use Stampin' Up stamps I used free as a bird and put your friendship means the world to me since this said friends I have a spot on there I'll have to put something on and this is a strip of uh, leftover scrap paper in this um, flourish color so I thought that was a nice card that's the first one the second one it uses the pinky color and this is a piece of flirty flamingo and the color goes really quite well I think um had a couple of the Mary Merlot or whatever leaves left and you can see I distressed them with the um those might have been done with the peeled paint also or the fossilized amber I can't remember which one I used this is one of the cut aparts this is another one of those um pieces that were one and a half by two and three quarter but I did use on this card my this little one inch um, corner rounder by EK Success uh, on all the pieces and this piece of flirty flamingo I ran through the subtle embossing folder by Stampin' Up and I think the new number is 151775 if you're interested I love that one it just adds a little texture uh, and this is the new Magnolia Lane um, ribbon combo pack it's this um, it's a textured linen ribbon like really pretty it's soft and nice but it does fray on the ends I will just warn you um, so I did wrap it around the pink flamingo piece 
tacked it down and then glued that down and then this is bumped up on dimensionals and then as it was an afterthought thought, sort of I had those leaves left and I tucked them behind and I think that just you know added a little bit to it so it says dream big and then inside I brought in the stargazing stamp set since this said dream big and it says if you dream it you can do it and I didn't do any other decoration on the inside of the card why does that not want to focus hmm. does not want to focus does there we go it's like focuses for a second then goes out of focus so anyway that is the second card then the fourth card is this one there we go using pretty peacock as the base this is one of the papers this is one of the cut aparts which i did cut the flag the way it was shaped on there and then this leaf and this acorn and there's another acorn inside actually had been gifted to me last year by i think um charlise's crafty corner it must have been in a swap or something so and guess what it's the same paper pad but she also used some plain paper and i don't have an acorn die well, i need an acorn die so anyway that and she did a leaf out of one of the other papers i hadn't broken into yet and this is just a strip of the pretty peacock um paper going across which i did not wrap i just trimmed it off at the edge and then this is bumped up on dimensionals and inside since that's about happiness it says you are the happy to my day and i have a piece of the same paper from the front another paper scrap here and then the acorn and the you are happy to my day is from the country home um, stamp set right here which i thought was um, a really appropriate one for that card and then the last one i did for this month is happy fall and um i did bring in the ride with me the truck and the little pumpkins stamps and um, the only die i used from the truck die ride it was to get the pumpkins um, cut and then the happy fall was one of the cutter parts which i bumped up on dimensionals this is a piece of the new um, stampin up scalloped linen ribbon in the pretty peacock with the ribbon in the middle sort of make it like a road going across i colored it in pretty peacock light uh, smoky slate silver uh, light and basic black light and then i used a um i have this i don't remember who makes this but it's really i really like this and it has a blade but it goes in like a pen thing so it's not dangerous yeah really like that um it works well and i cut out the window so you could sort of see through and i did kind of rough on that and then this was in that um in another pack of stuff that had been gifted to me um and that might have been uh charlisa's crafty corner too if not please forgive me i just glued that it's sort of a chipboard or wood pumpkin that's been painted and then inside I just used a piece of very vanilla and um, this pumpkin this was gifted to me by Alicia in 2018 who is um, one peaceful mind here on YouTube now and I just I did use Stampin' Up! pumpkin pie um, ink to stamp in it so just happy fall and so those are my projects for this month this is my starting month so it's not a lot yet expect a lot more hopefully for next month of projects and probably some more cards because i have lots of card bases cut and um i thought they came out cute um i was intending originally though to use more of these but i have trouble using these as cards because there's a couple like this one i could um and maybe that one i don't know um they just seem more like journaling cards than card cards to me so i have those and i have my um 
place card settings. Why is that so blurry? Ugh. Anyway, there we go. So thank you so much for watching. Please go over and see what um, Stamp Girl page has made for this month. And I, um, I am looking forward to this. I'm loving this paper pad already to use. There's so many. I have a whole list of ideas. Um, the first one of which was place cards. And I probably will be doing a different style. Another set of place cards. They take a little while i mean once you get going it's pretty assembly line you know you can i first cut out 12 of these and then 12 of these and i trimmed and cut all of the ones i wanted to use of these i pulled out the washi and then i did all the leaves and had a bunch of leaves laying around i have one leaf left actually that i haven't used yet um and then sort of an afterthought was the twine so basically it was my process was strip of washi, glue these together, glue them on at the halfway point, figure out how the leaves wanted to be on that particular one, and glue them to the back of this, or in some cases I glued them down on the card, and then bump this up on dimensionals, and then, um, and then do this. So that was the process. Pretty easy. Uh, anybody can do it. Just, um, you know, how, whatever you have in your stash, use them up. So thank you so much for watching. Go check out Paige and I'll see you next month at the end of the month. Let's use up our paper guys. We know we have a lot of it and I love paper and I buy it too often and um, I need to use it. So I'm going to be on a mission <laughs> through next year even to use up paper pads and things before I buy more with the exception of stamping up for my business. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.